I thank the Lord for what he has been doing. And I know that the Lord God Almighty will touch you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's bless the name of the Lord for his love over our lives. Father, we bless you, Lord, for everyone connected on this line. We thank you for your love over their lives. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your hands of deliverance. We thank you for your loving kindness. Lord, we exalt you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. King of glory, we thank you, Lord Almighty, for what you have done for us. We thank you for giving us life. We thank you for your awesome power. We thank you for your anointing power. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your miracle hands over us. We thank you for the gift of life. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord Almighty, we commit our gathering today into your hands. We ask, O oh Lord, that you come and have your way in our midst in the name of Jesus. We soak all our prayers today with the blood of Jesus. We soak all our homes with the blood of Jesus. And we ask, O oh Lord Almighty, that every agenda of the kingdom of darkness over us will not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord, your word says we will decree a thing and it shall be established unto us. Father, we are decreeing today that, Lord, let your mighty hands and your miracle power locate everyone that is connected to me on this prayer line in the name of Jesus. Father, you are the God that can do all things. The word of God says you are the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for you? Lord, on this prayer line, you will almighty do miracles in Jesus' name. Every situation that seems to be very hard, every situation that seems to be difficult, every situation that seems to be, by, to be uh, unsurmountable, Father, I ask, O oh Lord Almighty, that you will almighty address them today in Jesus' name. I speak to the life of that, your son, O oh Lord. I speak to the life of your son. That every arrow of confusion in his life, let those arrows of confusion return back to sender. Right now, begin to have divine direction. In the name of Jesus, let there be divine direction. Let there be divine direction. We cast away the spirit of confusion. I decree again that the spirit of confusion is banished in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for your daughters that are also connected to me. Lord, I ask, O oh Lord, that every arrow of the night that has been targeted against your life, I ask that the evil arrow will go back to sender. Will return back to sender. Will return back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to that, your daughter again, the one that was shot in the dream. I decree that every satanic gunshot fired at you in your dream. Let it begin to come out and return back to sender. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for someone again that the enemy actually pursued you until you woke up. Beginning from right now, receive the power to pursue your pursuer. Receive the power to pursue your pursuer. Receive the power to pursue your pursuer in the name of Jesus Christ. And I baptize as many that are connected to me with the, a fresh anointing. Anointing of the overcomer. Anointing that cannot be disgraced anointing that cannot be put to shame, anointing to overcome, anointing to begin and finish, anointing for completion, anointing for perfection, anointing for excellence, right there where you are, let it begin to baptize you now, in the name of Jesus, receive that anointing, receive the anointing, receive a complete anointing, the anointing of excellence, the one that was upon Joseph, receive that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for someone again, beginning from this moment, let the Lord begin to open your eyes. Right now, let the Lord begin to open your eyes. Let the Lord begin to open your eyes. Let there be what I call divine revelation. Everything you need to know, every secret you need to know, let Almighty the Lord begin to open your eyes. You begin to Almighty see those secrets in the mighty name of Jesus. And I decree by the decree of heaven that everything my heavenly father has not planted in your life, let it be uprooted now. In the name of Jesus, let it be uprooted now. Let it be uprooted now. Let it be uprooted now. Let it be uprooted right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, I ask, O oh Lord, that everyone connected to me by the reason of the anointing, 
let their yokes be broken on. Let their stubborn yokes be broken on. Let every yoke over their lives be broken on. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the yoke of darkness upon their lives be broken on. Let the yoke of the occult be broken on. Let every yoke of the marine kingdom be broken on. Every power that has connected you to the kingdom of darkness, I say let that demonic connection be broken on. Let it be broken on. Let it be broken on. Let it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. By the miracle hand of Jehovah, by the King of glory, the one that created the heavens and the earth, right there where you are, let the chains of darkness over you, let those chains be destroyed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your chains be destroyed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your chains be destroyed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak into your situation. And every power that is sitting upon your life, every power sitting upon your marriage, the powers that are sitting and troubling your marriage, I command them to be unseated, to be unseated, to be unseated, to be unseated. In the name of Jesus, every power that has taken your marriage picture to an evil altar, and they are troubling your marriage. I command that altar to catch fire. Let that evil altar catch fire. Let that altar catch fire. And let your marriage receive deliverance. Let that evil altar catch fire. Let your marriage receive deliverance. Let that evil altar catch fire. I'm speaking again to someone. Listen to me carefully. Every power that walked into your marriage. And they have brought trouble there. I command them to walk out by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree, let them begin to walk out. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, I say the power that are programmed against your marriage, they have programmed the sun and the moon to smite you. I decree the sun will not smite you by day. The moon will not smite you by night. The sun will not smite you by day. The moon will not smite you by night. Every power that has attacked your marriage, Right there where you are, let your marriage receive deliverance. 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 In the name of Jesus, that which has been stolen from you, I decree and I declare, let there be recovery. Let there be restoration. Let there be recovery. Let there be restoration. Every good thing that has been stolen from your life, I command let there be a hundredfold recovery, a hundredfold restoration, a thousandfold recovery, a thousandfold restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, my Father, I cover everyone connected to me with the blood of Jesus. And I decree and I declare that there will be no calamity around you in Jesus' name. The hands of the enemy will not prevail over you. It will not prevail over your family. It will not prevail over your home in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, they shall surely gather, but not by me. That whosoever shall gather for your, for your sake, they shall fall. I decree that as many that will gather against you, wherever they are gathered, either in the covens of darkness, either in the waters, either in the kingdom of darkness, either in the trees, either almighty in the waters, I command them to scatter. Because the word of God says they shall surely scatter. Let them be scattered. Wherever they are gathered from, against your destiny, against your life. I speak into your life. I decree into your destiny. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Them be scattered. In the mighty name of Jesus, right there where you are, receive the anointing. The anointing. Oh yes, the anointing to move to the next level. In the name of Jesus. Beginning from today, when you decree a thing, let it be established. When you speak the word of God, the devil shall flee. In the name of Jesus, wherever they are calling your name for evil, the thunder of God shall scatter them. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I decree and I declare that that which God had prepared for you, right there where you are, receive the power to get it. Receive the anointing to get it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every good thing that you are expecting. Uh, the Bible says the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. Uh, every good thing that you are expecting from the Lord. Uh, receive the power to get it. Uh, receive the power to get it. Uh, receive the anointing to get it. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I pray for you. That your citizenship. Uh, your papers in that country. 
your papers in that country, all the documents you need to become certified in that country, receive it in the name of Jesus. I say receive it in the name of Jesus. Let the homeland not have peace until they restore your documents to you. Let the home office not have peace until they restore your document to you. Let the immigration office not have peace until they restore your documents to you. So therefore I speak into your life. I decree by the decree of heaven. I use, I soak myself in the blood of Jesus and I stand upon the rock of ages. I hide myself inside that blood and I decree that everything that will make your life to move forward, the document that you need for you to move to the next level, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. As you are saying amen right there, I know the power of God is locating you. I say receive the document. Receive the document. Every document that needs to be signed. Every document that needs to be approved. Every document that needs to be handed over to you. Right there where you are. Let them begin to locate you. 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 Begin to locate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I speak to you that any power that is saying that they will sell your house. I cancel those powers. I destroy those powers. And I say let the hand of God move in your affairs. Let the hand of God move in your matter. There shall be no loss. I say there shall be no loss. You will not lose your house. You will not lose your house. You will not lose your property. You will not lose your house. You will not lose your property. I decree into your life you will not lose your house. I say you will not lose your property. Receive the grace. Uh, receive the grace. Uh, the grace, O oh Lord Almighty. The grace, Almighty, to stand firm. Uh, the grace to hold firm. Uh, the power of God, let it begin to baptize you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, I thank you for your children that are connected to me. I thank you because this prayer line you would manifest yourself. Uh, Lord, I hide myself that your word will increase. Uh, I soak myself in the blood of you and I soak your children in the blood. Uh, I decree, Lord Almighty, let them not see me, but let them see your glory. Let them begin to see Jesus. Uh, and so I decree that Jesus will be manifested. Uh, I decree that the name of the Lord will be glorified. Uh, and as I speak into your life, uh, I decree and I declare that that which the enemy has spoken of, that which the enemy has said, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. And I begin to decree to your destiny that let the word of God work for you. Let the word of God manifest in your life. Let the word of God make a way for you. Let the word of God begin to touch every area of your life. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. A louder hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord Almighty. I soak everyone with the blood of Jesus. I ask, O Lord, that your mighty hand will touch everyone connected to me. I ask, O Lord, that your mighty power will baptize their lives. Sir. And I decree that the heavens over their head, let it be opened in the name of Jesus. Let your heavens be open in the name of Jesus. Let your heavens be open in the name of Jesus. The Lord will touch you. The hand of the Lord will be upon you. The mightiness of Jehovah will touch your destiny. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. A louder hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're all welcome to the prayer line. For those of you on the prayer line, I want to say welcome to the prayer line. For those of you on Periscope, God bless you. Those of you on Facebook Live, God bless you. Those of you on Instagram, I want to say God bless you. You're welcome. The hand of the Lord will touch your lives in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Let's go into our world today. But before we go into the word of God, I wanted to go ahead and share this video right now. Just go ahead and help me to share this video. Let somebody be blessed. Send this video. Let's go ahead and share the video. Those of you on Periscope, just click the three buttons there. And those of you on Facebook Live, you know what to do. Let's go ahead and share this video. Share the video. Share the video. Share the video. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead and share the video. Yes. God bless you. God bless you as you're sharing the video. God bless you. For those of you that are sharing right now, you are welcome. You are welcome onto the line. Yes, let's go ahead and share the video. 
let's go ahead and share it let's go ahead and share it let's go ahead and share it yes i can see lots of you inviting your followers you are blessed as you're doing that you are blessed yes go ahead and become an evangelist now become an evangelist now spreading the word of god spreading the gospel and i know that as you're spreading it the word of god will work for you and i will hear your testimonies in the name of jesus i will hear your testimonies i know that the hand of god is already starting to do it yes god bless you all god bless you all god bless you yes go ahead let's go ahead and share it let's go ahead and share it yes i can see some of you doing that i can see that wonderful 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 yes let's go ahead and share the video wow yeah yeah very wonderful very good very good i can see that god bless us all god bless you all yeah a lot of people they've all actually sent the video via yourself you've actually shared it to many people god bless you as you're doing that uh know the lord god almighty will be your guide as you do that in the name of jesus let's go ahead and share the video let's go ahead and share it for those of you that are yet to share it let's go ahead and share the video to all our followers and let's make some people to be part of this glorious and wonderful message of tonight thank you jesus thank you jesus blessed be the name of the lord oh yes i can see lots of you doing that now i can see that yes yes wonderful uh, wonderful yeah i can see lots of you doing that now god bless you god bless you god bless you thank you jesus i know it is going to be great tonight in the name of jesus and i know the power of god will manifest in our midst in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you jesus yes 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 good morning good afternoon good evening for those of you wherever you might be in the whole world you are welcome again the lord god almighty will strengthen you all in jesus mighty name amen praise the name of the lord hallelujah very briefly i just want to quickly share a brief message to us i've had several calls during the day and during the week up till now and i want to talk briefly and as I'm talking, I'm going to be tagging the message, like I said, or like I put on the on the uh, on Facebook and on Periscope. I've tagged it destroying evil loads, destroying evil loads. Listen and listen to me very well. Uh, a lot of Christians are carrying evil loads on a daily basis, and they just don't understand what we are talking about. They don't understand what we're saying when we say an evil load. They don't get what we're talking about. And I want to see if I can, if the Holy Spirit will help me to explain it to you. And I pray that the Lord God Almighty will begin to open your heart and will begin to Almighty dissect and give you a great understanding in the name of Jesus. A lot of Christians are carrying a load of darkness. A lot of Christians are carrying the load that is, does not belong to them. A lot of Christians are carrying an evil load that is not of theirs. They are carrying what the God Almighty has not given unto them. They are carrying the loads of darkness. Listen and listen to me very well. I have had too many calls and I need to speak about it so that we have a great understanding that our God is a God of signs and wonders and is a God of all flesh and is also a God that can do all things. Is also a God that has given us the grace to live and enjoy our life that's why god created you even in the first place to live and fulfill your destiny not for you to be carrying an evil load on you beloved i want to explain to you as much as i can but i pray that the holy spirit will explain and will teach you as i as we continue in the name of jesus when a person is carrying an evil load it means that he's taking something that does not belong to him is carrying an additional load that does not belong to him. Is carrying a load that the enemy has projected and handed over to him or her. When somebody, a Christian, is carrying an evil load, it means that the Christian is taking the burden that does not belong to him or her. Is having an additional stress that does not belong to him or her. Is pulling a baggage that does not belong to him or her. 
I pray that the power of God, the hand of Jehovah, will begin to destroy every load of darkness in your life in Jesus' name. My brother, my sister, listen to me clearly. Evil loads is not from God. An evil load is a load that is from the work, from the kingdom of darkness. It is a load that is from the kingdom of darkness. The question here is that you must be set free. You must be set free because you must shake them out. You must shake it off. You must cut it out. You must destroy it out of your life. An evil load is not for you. Many people have been living with an evil load and they feel that it's now part of them. Evil load is not part of you. It does not belong to you. The Bible says, whatever my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted out. So therefore, I want to tell you that the devil has planted a lot of things in the life of the children of God. My brother, my sister, I want to tell you that everything that is planted in your life by the kingdom of darkness needs to be uprooted. It is classified as an evil load. When you have an evil load on you, you will not fulfill destiny. So, beloved, wherever you are, listen to me and listen to me carefully. Evil load is not for children of God. A child of God must not be carrying an evil load. The Bible tells us that my, Jesus said, my yoke is easy. The yoke of the Lord is easy, not for you to be carrying an evil load. I pray that anyone that is carrying an evil load, the Lord Almighty shall destroy those loads in Jesus' name. And they shall be shaken out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me carefully now. Evil loads. When a man, a woman is carrying an evil load, they will begin to go slower than what they should be doing. What do I mean? They will begin to, their progress begins to be slower than what it should ordinarily be. When someone is carrying an evil load, or when someone is operating under an evil load, it will set the person back. It will hinder the person from fulfilling destiny. It will make the person to be sluggish in fulfilling destiny the person may even believe that he or she is meant to sit in one same position because the evil load has kept him or her in that place i pray for you that it is an evil load in your life today those loads must be buried in the name of jesus i say today those loads must be buried in the mighty name of jesus listen to me carefully Evil loads is not for a child of God. It's not for the child of God. And I want to tell you that as many that are connected to me, listening to me, you have no right to be carrying an evil load around. You have no right to be carrying an evil load around. When an evil load is operating in the life of a Christian, he will not be enjoying his life. He will not even enjoy his health. He will have a bad health. He will not even enjoy his marriage. He will have a bad marriage. He will not enjoy even his Christian race. His Christian race will be difficult. Even when he's enjoying, when he's enjoying his normal life, his day-to-day -day activity, the evil load will set him back. The evil load will set her back. Let me tell you again, evil loads are not to be condoled. You must destroy them by every armory, by every ammunition. By every strength of yours, you must destroy evil loads. You must take it off. You must cut it out of you. If it has been joined to you, you must cut it away. You must destroy it. My brothers, my sisters, I pray for you that whatever the enemy has done into your life, any load of darkness that the enemy has programmed into your life, I ask that the hammer of God shall break them out of your life. The hammer of God shall break them away, shall break them away, shall break them away, shall break them away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me and let us read this Bible very well. This Bible passes very well. I'm reading from Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 to 30. Matthew 11, Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Matthew 11, 28 to 30. I read. The Bible says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. The Bible says, Take my yoke upon you, and lean of me. It says, For I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall have rest unto your soul. 
for my yoke is easy, my burden is light. I pray for you that as the Lord God Almighty has called on you, you will come unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. I have just read Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30. And I pray that the hand of the Lord will touch you in the name of Jesus. The power of God and the word of God we've just read will multiply in your life in the name of Jesus. Now listen, Jesus Christ is the burden bearer. He is the burden bearer. A lot of Christians are carrying a burden that is bigger than them. They are carrying an evil load that is bigger than them. They are carrying a load that they just don't understand. Jesus says his own is light. Come unto me. Say, for his own yoke is easy. My burden is light. You need to come to Jesus, the one that can carry your yokes, the one that can help you, the one that can fight the battles for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me carefully. The Bible says something in Revelations 12.12. 12, Revelations 12.12. 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. I'm reading Revelations 12.12. 12. Revelation 12, 12. And it says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having a great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. He had but a short time. Listen carefully. The enemy has projected so many evil loads onto the life of children. The enemy has fired an evil arrow to the life of many children of God. The enemy has chanted incantation into the life of many people. So many people are carrying an evil load that does not belong to them. Listen carefully. When you carry an evil load or when there is an evil load in your life, it will do many things. Number one, it will do is that it will stay, it will hinder you from moving the way you should move. When there's an evil load upon you, it will hinder you from moving the way you should move. The second thing it will do for you is that it may also keep you in the same position. Evil load may also keep you in the same position. The third thing it may do for you is that it will set you backward. An evil load may set a person what? Backward. An evil load will come in different dimensions. Listen to me carefully. I pray that if there's an evil load in your life, if there's an evil load in your marriage, there's an evil load in your career, there's an evil load upon your head right now, I command the owners of the evil load to appear and carry their load to appear and carry their load, to appear and carry their load. I command them to appear and carry their load. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Now listen to me very well. Many of you may not understand the signs of an evil load. You may not understand the signs of when an evil arrow has been fired at you, or when there's an evil arrow in your life and it's there. When an evil arrow is in the life of a child of God, one of the things may happen is that it will begin to do lots of works. It begins to affect the brain. It begins to affect the body. It begins to affect the sight. It begins to affect the organs in the body. It begins to affect the way the person behaves. Sometimes the person may not be able to think very well because there's an evil arrow or there's an evil load that the person is carrying. Listen to me carefully. As many that are listening to me right now, if there's an evil load in your life, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Now let the power of God begin to remove every load of darkness, every load of witchcraft, every load of the enemy over your life. I command it to be removed, to be removed. Let it be lifted up, be lifted away, be lifted up, be lifted away in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Listen to me carefully. I pray that God will begin to release this teaching and begin to make it dissect it and begin to give you great understanding. An evil load in the life of a Christian will set the Christian backward. An evil load in the life of a Christian will set the Christian backward. It will hinder the Christian from moving to the neck to the level it should or move. It will hinder the Christian from taking the position he should or she to take. The evil load of darkness is nothing for you to joke with. Rather, you should shake it off. Rather, you should cut it off. The word of God says, where if my heavenly father has not planted, it shall be rooted upon. 
What my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted out. Everything God has not planted in your life, they are classified as evil load. Everything God has not planted in your life, they are classified as evil load. Whatever my heavenly father has not planted, uh, the Bible says it shall be rooted up. So therefore I speak into your life. Uh, every load, evil load that you acquired yourself, uh, the evil load that was fired at you in the dream, uh, the one that the enemy projected into you, the one that you walked into yourself uh, and you carried with your own two hands, uh, right there where you are, receive your deliverance, uh, receive your deliverance, uh, receive your deliverance uh, by the authority in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance, uh, receive your deliverance, uh, receive your deliverance. Uh, as Jesus prayed, uh, ah, and he prayed for for those that were sick uh, and they received healing, uh, I speak into your life uh, as men that are carrying the evil load of sickness, uh, the evil load of infirmity, the evil load of affliction. Uh, I command, let the owners of evil load carry their load. Uh, let the owners of evil load carry their load. Uh, receive your deliverance wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, receive your deliverance. Uh, receive your deliverance. Uh, receive your deliverance. Uh, receive your deliverance. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. A testimony of a sister, she called me as a pastor. In her revelation, they were firing bullets. And one of the bullets touched her in that revelation. And immediately that bullet touched her. She shouted. She shouted in, the, in, in that dream. And she shouted and woke up. By the time she was touching those places that the bullet was touched, it was paining her heavily. That is an example of an evil load in the dream. It's an example of an evil arrow fired also in the dream. It's an example of the person now carrying an evil bullet in her legs. I want you to open your mouth and say this loud and clear to yourself. Say every arrow of darkness fired at me in my dream. Go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, every arrow of darkness uh, fired at me in my dream. Uh, I command you to go back to your sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, every arrow of darkness uh, fired at me in my dreams. Uh, I command you to go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, uh, every arrow of darkness uh, fired at me in my dreams. Uh, I command you to go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, when an evil load is in the life of a Christian, one of the things the person will understand is that when you're sleeping, you could just see invisible hands pressing you down. When they press you down, you could even hear strange voices. You could hear people calling your name and you could not even resist. Or they were pressing you down. You see a strange hand pressing you down on your bed. Listen, it's an evil load. You need to fight against it. You need to resist the devil so that it can flee from you. You need to resist the hands of the enemy that is trying to place an evil load upon your life. My brother, my sister, don't take those things for granted. I pray that the Holy Spirit will teach you and will reveal secrets to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, one thing I want you to understand is that don't ever think, well, pastor, you're just saying your own. This could just be anything. No. No, you must resist the devil and he will flee from you. It didn't say you should play around with the devil. You must resist his oppressions in your life. You want to cry to your life loud and clear. Say this prayer with me with fire. Say every strange hand pressing me down in my dreams. I cut off your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Every strange hand that are pressing me down, I cut off your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. I cut it off. I cut off. I cut off your hands. I cut it off in the name of Jesus. All the strange hands that are pressing me down in my dreams, I cut you off. I cut you off in the name of Jesus. I cut you off. I cut you off by the power in the name of Jesus. I cut you off with the sword of the Lord. I cut off every strange hand that is almighty pressing me down. I cut you down. I cut you off. I cut you down. I cut you off. I cut you down. I cut you off. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cut you off. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen again. When the evil Lord is upon the life of a child of God, he will be having what I call unnecessary fear. 
all of a sudden there will be a fear baptizing the person. Unnecessary fear. And it will, the person will also all the time be having what I call depression. And those depression will be making the person to feel really down. There's an evil load. You need to shake it off. You need to shake it out. That the evil load that the enemy has projected against you must be shaken off. I pray for you again. Right there where you are. Every spirit of fear. Every spirit of depression that the enemy has projected into your life, I command them to be cut off, to be cut away, to be cut off, to be cut away, to be cut off, to be cut off, to be cut off, to be separated from your life in the name of Jesus. Because it is written that you shall not fear. I decree, receive strength, receive the courage, receive the power, and receive deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. When the load of darkness is upon the person's life and he has to destroy them, an evil wind could blow on that person and the person could even go into what I call a, a, a state of shock. He could go into a state of being, para, be, being, being paralyzed and evil wind blows and the person is just there. It is an evil load of darkness uh, that the enemy has projected. Uh, you want to cry loud and clear. Say, every wind of darkness uh, blowing at me, go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, uh, every wind of darkness uh, blowing against me, I command you to go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, uh, every wind of darkness uh, blowing against me, I command you to go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, go back to your sender. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you for those of you that are just joining him. Now, listen to me carefully again. When an evil load is in the life of a child of God, it could also begin to feel cold from within. Even though everywhere is hot, you'll be feeling cold from within. And when it feels cold from within, the temperature of the room could be very hot. You'll begin to feel cold. And you see that there's an evil load that has been transferred. Listen, this is what I'm, what I'm talking to you about. I'm praying that the Holy Spirit will begin to open your eyes and begin to almighty begin to reveal further to you and i decree that it shall be so in your life in the name of jesus christ every one of you will say this loud and clear you will say every enchantment projected into my life uh, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every enchantment uh, that has been projected uh, into my life, uh, I command it to scatter in the name of Jesus. Every enchantment uh, that has been projected uh, into my life, uh, I command it to scatter to scatter in the name of Jesus. Let the enchantment scatter. Let the enchantment scatter. Every enchantment uh, projected into my life, uh, I command it to scatter to scatter to scatter, to scatter. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, when an evil load is operating in the life of a child of God, all of a sudden, he will always feel that his head is heavier than his real head. He will feel that he has something else upon that head. The head will always be heavy. The head will be bigger and will be feeling heavier. There's an evil load. There's an evil load. You want to open your mouth and cry loud and clear. Say, evil loads upon my head. Everybody lift your right hand upon your head. Say, evil loads upon my head. I command you to catch fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, evil loads upon my head. I command you to catch fire. In the name of Jesus, evil loads upon my head. Catch fire. Evil load. Satanic load upon my head. Evil load upon my head. Satanic load upon my head. Catch fire. Open your mouth. Pray the prayer for yourself. Evil load upon my head. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. I command you to catch fire. In the name of Jesus, let the evil loads upon my head begin to catch fire. Begin to catch fire. In the name of Jesus, every load of darkness over my head, I command you to catch fire. To catch fire. To catch fire. Evil load upon my head. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus, we pray. I want to pray for somebody now. 
The Bible says, surely there's no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any definition against Israel. I speak into your life. Every enchantment, every divination over your head, any power calling your head, any power controlling your head for evil, I command them to be silenced. I command them to be destroyed. I command them to be silenced. I command them to be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sickness on the head, every sickness in the brain, every sickness in the head, I command right there where you are, receive deliverance. Receive deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let the deliverance power of God begin to locate you. Let the deliverance hand of Jehovah begin to locate you. Let the power of God begin to manifest in your life. Let the hand of God begin to move in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. When there is an evil load on the head of a child of God, when a child of God is carrying an evil load, it will have what I call unexplainable shivering. You'll be shivering when it shouldn't be shivering. You'll be shivering. He doesn't know. He can't explain. Why am I shivering? Why am I shivering? He doesn't understand. She doesn't understand. He doesn't know. Why am I shivering? It doesn't just know. It, they just can't explain why they're shivering. Listen, there is an evil load that has been transferred. There is a demonic load that has been placed. And I pray that the Lord God Almighty will touch you, will manifest His power in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. When there's an evil load in the life of a child of God, it will be hearing His name being called. And there is nobody that's calling him. When you hear your name being called, and you, you hear those names, not that the Lord is calling you like he calls someone, but you are hearing your name being called, and you, there is no one calling you. Listen, there's an evil load that is about to be transferred, or that has been transferred. Huh? You want to open your mouth and cry loud and clear. Say, every power calling my name, every power calling my name, wherever you are, some assault and die. In the name of Jesus Christ, every power calling my name, I command you, wherever you are, some assault and die. You, the powers that are calling my name, calling my name for evil. Every power calling my name for evil, wherever you are, I command you to some assault and die. In the name of Jesus, to some assault and die. In the name of Jesus, to some assault and die. Every power calling my name, I command you to some assault and die. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And I want to pray for somebody again. Every power that I called your name and you have answered today by the power in the name of Jesus, the name that is above all names, everywhere you have answered, I withdraw your answer in the name of Jesus. I withdraw your answer. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every evil program into your life, every evil program into you, every load that has been programmed into your destiny. I decree, let those evil programmers be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by thunder, be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by thunder. My sister, my brother, listen to me as I'm praying for you. I ask, oh Lord, that every invisible hand invisible hand that is raging over your life. I silence those hands in the name of Jesus. I silence them. I silence them. I silence those hands in the mighty name of Jesus. I silence every invisible hand that is raging against you. I silence them. I silence them. I silence them in the name of Jesus. I silence those hands, invisible hands raging against you. I silence them in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ, they are silenced. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. When there's an evil load that you need to destroy, when you are constantly eating in the dream, every food you are eating in the dream is transferring an evil load into your body. You should not be eating in the dream. So you must pray them very well. You must pray that prayers if you see yourself in that situation you must pray very well everyone that is having sex in the dream it is an evil law that has been transferred you're having sex with someone even with the same gender as you 
when a woman is having sex with a woman in the dream. It means there's an evil load. When a man is having sex with a man in the dream, it means there's an evil load that has been transferred. You want to cry to the Lord God Almighty, as many of you that are connected to me, and you believe in the power of God. You believe that when you decree a thing, it shall be established. You believe that when you decree, when you speak, the word of God shall fight for you. You will say this loud and clear. Say every load of darkness uh, transferred into my life in my dream. Uh, I command you to die in the name of Jesus. Uh, every load of darkness uh, transferred into my life uh, in my dreams. Uh, I command you to die in the name of Jesus. Uh, every load of darkness uh, transferred into my life uh, in my dreams. Uh, I command you to die in the name of Jesus. Uh, I command you to die in the name of Jesus. Uh, every load of darkness uh, transferred into my life uh, in my dream. Uh, I command you to die in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me carefully and listen to me very well. Our God is a God that works wonders. And I will tell you that many things that the children of God have taken for granted. I let me, let me tell you the Bible has been clear about it. And I pray that if there's an evil load in your life, today those loads shall catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, one other thing I would like you to do, when you have been summoned, you have been summoned, either you are summoned back home, or you are summoned back to your village, or to your town, or to your city, and uh, either they summoned you by either lying to you, they could have lied to you that somebody died, or something happened, and, but, but by the time you got there, they just told you, we just wanted to see your face. We just wanted to see your face. We just wanted to see your face. Uh, you know, listen, there's an evil load that has been transferred to you. When you have been summoned and you have to move quickly, it means that and the guy, when you go there, they, they summoned you as if there's something big that has happened. But you got there and when you got there, oh, it was just, they just said they want to see your face. I'm talking about physically now. There is an evil load. There's an evil load. There's an evil load that has been transferred. You need to pray in prayer like a mad prophet you need to pray pray that god will arise and destroy those loads of darkness when there is an evil load in your life listen to me carefully listen to me carefully you may find yourself being attacked in the dream and you are not able to defend yourself you could not shout you could not pray you could not say jesus you could not do anything you could not resist you could not say anything the bible says touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. They were being attacked in your dream and you could not resist it. You were being attacked and you could not say no. You could not shake off. You could not say no in the name of Jesus. You can't touch me. You could not resist it. There's an evil load that has been transferred. Listen to me. Either you understand what I'm saying or not. I pray that the Holy Spirit will reveal more to you and will teach you more. You've got to open your mouth and pray the devil dead. Pray out evil load out of your life. Because the intention of the evil load is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is the bottom line of an evil load in the life of a Christian. And so let me tell you clearly, anyone that is being attacked in the dream, and you could not resist, and you could not do anything, you could not even save yourself, you could not shout until you woke up. I want to pray for you right now. now. Father, I speak by the authority in the name of Jesus. Uh, that everyone that is connected to me, everyone that is connected to this prayer line uh, that has been attacked in their dream, uh, I command right now that the evil load that has been transferred into life, into their lives, let the owner of the load carry their load. Uh, let the owner of the evil load carry their load. Uh, let the owner of the evil load carry their load. Uh, I command, let the owner of the evil load carry their load. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, let the fire of deliverance fight for you. Let the fire of deliverance begin to deliver you. In the name of Jesus, uh, and any load they transferred into your life, uh, I command the load to go back to sender, 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 to go back to sender. I command the evil load to return back to sender, to go back to sender. Every satanic gunshot, every power that 
pursued you in the dreamer. Every power that they wanted to attack you in the dreamer, I decree right now, whatever evil load they brought, I command it to backfire, to backfire, to backfire, to backfire, to backfire, to backfire, to backfire in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare, let the owners of evil load appear and carry their load out of your life. Let them appear and carry their load out of your life. Let them appear and carry their load out of your life. Let them appear and carry their load out of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Thank you, the I am that I am. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Now, for those of you that have just joined me on Periscope, those of you that have joined me on Facebook Live, those of you that have joined me on Instagram, and those of you that are on the line, I wanted to go ahead right now. Let's go ahead and share this video one more time. Let's go ahead and share the video. I know that the hand of the Lord will touch you before we do some prayers to close today's meeting. Go ahead and share the video right now. Let's go ahead and share the video. I pray that the hands of Jehovah will begin to manifest in your life. The power of God will begin to make a way for you. The hand of the Lord will begin to deliver you. The Bible says, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Obadiah 117, I pray that you will possess your possession. And those that are beholding you down, the Lord God Almighty shall break their bounds in the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead and share the video. Let's go ahead and share the video. Let's go ahead. For those of you that have just joined, yes, go ahead. Yes, very good. God bless you. I can see that you're sharing it. Yes, invite your followers, those of you on Facebook Live, those of you on Periscope. I can see a lot of you on Periscope there, a lot of you on Facebook Live, and a lot of you also on Instagram. As of now, I don't know how to share on Instagram yet, but go ahead and share the video because somebody has to be blessed. You are becoming a blessing to somebody. As you're sharing the video, you are becoming a blessing, a super blessing to somebody. And as you're sharing the word, I mean, let me tell you, the hand of the Lord will begin to walk in your affairs. It will begin to address your situation. It will begin to break all the bondages. It will begin to fight your battles in the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Let's go ahead and share the video. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. I can see lots of you sharing the video right now. I can see lots of you sharing it. Yes, it is wonderful and it is great. And I pray that the Lord God Almighty will touch every area of your life as you are sharing the video. God bless you all. God bless you all. Yes, we've got to spread the word of God because lots of Christians are just carrying evil load without understanding what to do. Many Christians are lost and they just don't know what to do. They, do, they forgot that our God is a God of signs and wonders. He's a miracle walking God. He's a God of all flesh. He says there's nothing too hard for him. And he can do all things. Because prayer is also a mystery. He answers prayers and he will answer your prayer in the name of Jesus. For as many that will open their mouth to pray, there is a God that answers. There is a God that answers prayer. There is a God that answers prayer. As long as you can open your mouth to pray, there's a God that answers prayer, and that God will answer you in the name of Jesus. He has never failed. He will never fail. Hebrews 13 verse 8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has never failed. There's no failure in his dictionary. If you are carrying an evil load today, he is able, and much more than that, to lift away your burdens. He is much more able to lift away all your bondages. And it can break all the bondages that the enemy has put upon you. Right there where you are. I want you to open your mouth and cry loud and clear. Say every load of witchcraft upon any area of my life be set ablaze in the name of Jesus. Every load of witchcraft upon every area of my life be set ablaze in the name of Jesus. I command them to be set ablaze. Every load of witchcraft upon any area of my life be set ablaze, 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 be set ablaze in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Many of you, you will cry loud and clear. Say, every load of darkness uh, upon my life, uh, 
I shake you off in the name of Jesus. Every load of darkness upon my life, I shake you off in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and shake it off. Every load of darkness in any area of my life, upon my marriage, upon my calling, upon my career, upon my house, upon my family, I shake you off. The ones that are upon my body, the load of darkness in my life, I shake you off. I shake you off in the name of Jesus. I shake you off. I shake you off. I shake you off. I shake you out. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. You will cry loud and clear again to yourself. Say, every arrow fired into my body. Come out and go back to your center. In the name of Jesus, every arrow fired into my body. I command you to come out and go back to your center. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. For those of you on Instagram, I'm just going to make it, I'm going to bring it back again. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You will now cry to yourself, wherever you are. Cry loud and clear. Say, my father, arise in your power. Deliver me by fire. In the name of Jesus, my father, arise in your power. Deliver me by your fire. Deliver me from the load of darkness. Deliver me by fire. My Father, arise, O oh Lord. Deliver me by fire. Deliver me by fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. Deliver me by fire. In the name of Jesus, my Father, arise, O oh Lord, and deliver me by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Everybody cry to the Lord again with fire and with thunder in your voice. Huh? Say, every power attacking any organ in my body. Every power attacking any organ in my body. Release it and die in the name of Jesus. Every power attacking the organs in my body. Release it and die. Release it and die. Release it and die. Release the organs in my body. Release it and die. Release it and die. In the name of Jesus. Powers attacking any organ in my body. Release it now. Release it and die. In the name of Jesus. I command you to release it. Release it now. Release it now. Release it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Father, I am praying for your children today. As many that are connected to me wherever they are from. Uh, your word says one shall chase a thousand, two shall chase ten thousand. Uh, I decree that your word also says uh, where two or more are gathered in your name that you are there in their midst. Uh, Father, we are more than two here. We are gathered in the name that is above all names. Uh, the name of Jesus Christ, uh, the mighty man in battle. Uh, I pray for your children uh, that as many that are operating under the load of darkness are. Uh, I ask, O oh Lord, Daddy, deliver them by your power. Deliver them by fire. Deliver them by your power. Deliver them by fire. Deliver them by your power. Deliver them by fire. Deliver them by your power. Deliver them by fire. Deliver them by your power. Deliver them by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every arrow of untimely death that has been fired into your life, I command the arrow to go back to senders. In the name of Jesus, let the arrows go back to senders. Let it go back to sender. The arrows of untimely death that have been fired at you, I command it to go back to sender. In the name of Jesus, to go back to senders. In the name of Jesus, to go back to senders. In the name of Jesus, to go back to senders. In the name of Jesus Christ, every load of affliction upon your body, the ones that are in your womb, the ones that are on your waist, the ones that are in your backbone, I command those loads to be lifted now. In the name of Jesus, let those evil loads be lifted. Be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted now. As you are saying, Amen, let the power of God locate you right there. In the name of Jesus, let those loads be lifted. Every load of darkness, the ones in your womb, the ones in your waist, the ones in your backbone, I command them to be lifted now. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that has attacked your brain, 
and you can't think very well. They have attacked your brain. You can't study for a little while. You, they've attacked your brain. You can't read the Bible. They've attacked your brain. You can't even Almighty, sit down and meditate upon the word of God. Right there where you are, the arrow that was fired at your brain, I command you to go out back to the center. To go back to the center. Let the evil arrow go back to the center. In the name of Jesus, I command you to go back to center. 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 In the name of Jesus, we pray. Loud and clear, I decree again into your life. Huh? As many that was fired, huh? they fired an evil arrow into your breast area and also into your womb area. I command those arrows to gather themselves together and go back to center. In the name of Jesus, let those arrows gather themselves. Huh? Ah, let them gather themselves together and go back to send her. And go back to send her. In the name of Jesus, it is written uh, that whatever my heavenly father has not planted uh, shall be uprooted. Uh, I command it to be uprooted now. In the name of Jesus, uh, it is written that as soon as they hear of me, the stranger shall obey. The stranger shall come out of their clothes and hiding places. Every stranger in your body. The strangers in your blood, the strangers in your breast, the strangers in your womb, I command them to pack their bag and go back to send her in the name of Jesus. To pack their bag and go back to send her in the name of Jesus. I come to you in the name of Jesus. The name that is above every name. At the mention of that name, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. And so in the name of Jesus Christ, every load of darkness that is troubling your life, uh, troubling your destiny, hindering you from fulfilling destiny, I command the load to be uprooted, uh, to be lifted up, uh, to be uprooted, uh, to be lifted up, uh, to be uprooted, uh, to be lifted up, uh, to be uprooted, uh, to be lifted out of your life. In the name of Jesus, right there where you are, let the hand of God begin to do miracles in your life. Uh. Yes, let the hand of God begin to move. Uh. Let the hand of God begin to manifest. Uh. The Lord is healing somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Excuse me. The Lord is healing someone now. The power of Jehovah is manifesting in the life of someone. Rapo Sanda Lakayabaza. I speak into your life uh, that the hand of the wicked uh, that is laid upon your waist, uh, the one that is laid upon your breast, uh, the one that is laid upon your womb, uh, I cut that hand off. Uh, I cut it off. I cut it off uh, with the sword of fire. Every hand of the wicked uh, that is laid upon your waist, uh, the one that is laid upon your breast, uh, the one laid upon your womb, uh, I command them to be cut off uh, with the sword of fire. To be cut off uh, with the sword of fire. Let the hands of the wicked uh, over your life, uh, operating in your life, uh, be cut off in the name of Jesus. Be cut off. Be cut off. Be cut off. Be cut off. Be cut off in the name of Jesus. Every power force feeding you in the dreamer. Every power giving you food in the dreamer. Every power feeding you every time in the dream. Beginning from today, I command them to appear no more. To appear no more. To appear no more, to appear no more, to appear no more, to appear no more, to appear no more in your life. In the name of Jesus, I barricade your dream life with the blood of Jesus and the fire of God. In the name of Jesus, every agenda of darkness, every gathering of the kingdom of darkness over your affairs, I command it to scatter, to scatter, to scatter, to scatter, to scatter, to scatter. To scatter, to scatter, to scatter in the name of Jesus. Every power that has been calling your name, invoking against you, chanting incantation against you, divining against you, I decree right now, when they call your name again, the fire of God shall destroy them. I say the fire of God shall destroy them. The fire shall destroy them. The fire shall destroy them. The fire of God shall dismantle them. The fire of God shall dismantle them. The fire of God shall disgrace them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, right there where you are, I release the anointing power of God over your life, over your destiny. In the name of Jesus, oh, receive your healing. Receive divine healing. Receive divine healing. Receive divine healing. Healing in your brain. Healing in your eyes, healing in your nose, healing in your tongue, healing in your neck, 
healing in your chest, healing in your stomach, healing in your womb, healing in your waist area, healing on your two hands. Receive healing on your legs. In the name of Jesus, let the hands of the wicked be lifted up, be lifted out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak again that the power of Jehovah will manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, Lord, I ask that everyone that is listening to me, I decree in the name of Jesus, let the hand of God touch you where you are right now. Let the hand of God begin to touch you. Yes, there's a sister there. The hand of God is upon you right now. The hand of God is upon you right now. Right now. The power of Jehovah is touching you now. Yes, receive your healing. The doctors have said they cannot do anything about your case. But Jesus Christ, Dr. Jesus is attending to you now. And I decree that you are connected and you are receiving that healing. Yes, receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. The word of God says we will decree a thing and it shall be established. You, that sister, receive that healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. You, that sister, yes, receive that healing. It is settled in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak to you. You, that person that you are always seeing shadows. Every time you are seeing shadows. Every time you are seeing shadows. I decree and I declare that every demonic shadow, evil shadow, whatever name the shadows are that are working against you, I command them to disappear and catch fire to disappear and catch fire to disappear and catch fire to disappear and catch fire. Beginning from today, you begin to live your original life. Begin to live your original life. Begin to live your original life. In the name of Jesus, let the hand of God be removed from your matter. Let the hand of, let the hand of God begin to remove every other hand from your matter. Let the hand of God begin to remove every wicked hand from your matter. Let the hand of Jehovah begin to remove every satanic hand from your affairs. In the name of Jehovah, O hand of the living God, I begin to deliver your children. O hand of the living God, begin to set them free from the load of darkness. O hand of God, begin to deliver them from the hands of the wicked. O hand of God, deliver your children. Deliver them now. Deliver them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord, I speak that you will begin a great work in the life of your children. You will begin a perfect work in their destiny. You will begin a miracle for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Beginning from today, every power that is calling your name, every force that is delaying and hindering you, every power that is choking you down, I decree in the name of Jesus, let those powers be disgraced. In the name of Jesus Christ, let those powers be dismantled. Let them be dismantled. In the name of Jesus. And I speak into your destiny that the Lord will touch you. The hand of God will begin to make a way for you. Where you have failed, you shall begin to be successful. You shall be successful. Everywhere you have failed, everything that you have touched, because the load of darkness is upon you, beginning from today, when you touch things, it shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, that which you touch beginning from now shall prosper. It shall prosper. It shall multiply. It shall multiply. In the name of Jesus, the God whom you serve will begin to make a way for you. The Lord will make a way for you. Where there seem to be no way, where the load of darkness has hindered you, the Lord will make a way. The Lord will make a way. The Lord will make a way. In the name of Jesus, lift your right hand to the heavens. The Lord is healing someone right now. Is healing you on your legs. Your two legs are being healed right now. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Jehovah. Yes, Lord, let those legs begin to receive healing. Let those legs begin to receive healing. Complete healing. Complete healing. Perfect healing. Healing in the legs. Receive the healing now. Receive the healing. Yes, stretch those legs. Stretch those legs. And as you're stretching it, begin to call Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, stretch those two legs. Yes, receive your healing. The mighty hand of God is touching those legs. Is touching those legs. The evil load upon those legs. They are being lifted away. They are being lifted away. They are being taken away. In the name of Jesus Christ. As many of you that have failed before, beginning from today, you shall fail no more. Let your brain begin to get to the spirit of excellence. Let divine wisdom, divine knowledge, divine understanding, begin to locate you now. Let it begin to fall upon you. Let it begin to baptize you. Let it begin to baptize you. Let it begin to baptize your brain. Where you have failed, I say you shall fail no more. 
you shall fail no more. The spirit of excellence is upon you now. Is upon you now. Is upon you now. Is upon you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for all my singles on this line. As many of you that are single and you are still waiting for the bone of your bone, I decree in the name of Jesus, every mark of the devil, every mark of Satan, every identification mark of Satan upon your head, every witchcraft mark upon you that is making you not to be seen, I wipe it off with the blood of Jesus. I command it to be wiped off with the blood of Jesus. Let the marks be wiped off. Let the evil marks on your forehead be wiped off with the blood of Jesus. And as it's been wiped off, let the Lord begin to bring you out. Let the glory of God begin to single you out. Single you out, Almighty, for divine favor. As Esther was favored, I say receive divine favor. Let that which is your partner, that's your husband, that's your wife, let them begin to locate you now. Wherever they are, your divine partner, wherever that partner is, I command them to arise and locate you. Arise and locate you. Beginning from now, you shall be seen. I say you shall be seen. The cloud of darkness on you, the cloud of darkness around you is clearing away. Is clearing away. I say it's clearing away. Let that cloud of darkness clear away. In the mighty name of Jesus, the glory of the Lord, let it be risen upon you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Arise and shine, for it is your light has come. Arise and shine, arise and shine, arise and shine. Let every load of darkness, evil load, demonic load, let them be lifted out. Let them be lifted out of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we exalt you. For your children, I say, blessed be the name of the Lord. For what you have done today, I say, glory be unto you. I thank you because you are a God that does not sleep nor slumber. You are the God that can do all things. You are the one that can lift up. You are the one that can make a life. Father, let this your children receive deliverance from demonic load of darkness, from the evil load of darkness, from demonic evil load. Let the power of God destroy all your evil loads in the name of Jesus. And I speak to somebody's life that within the next three days, every evil load that has troubled you shall be destroyed. Shall be destroyed, shall be destroyed, shall be destroyed. Let your amen roar with fire wherever you are. I say the evil load that has disturbed you, I command that shall be destroyed. It shall be destroyed completely. It shall have total destruction. All the evil load that have tormented you, that have hindered you from becoming who you should be, the one that have obstructed you from getting to your, your destination, those evil loads shall be destroyed, shall be destroyed, shall be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying again for healing. Lord, the doctors have said they don't have a way, but Jesus, Dr. Jesus has a way. Right there again, receive healing. Healing in the bones, healing in the bones, healing in the bones. Receive that healing. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. I say be healed, I say be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Receive your healing, receive your healing, receive your healing. As blind Bartimaeus woke up in the morning and never knew that that day blindness would disappear. Today, as you woke up, I speak into your life. Receive your healing. Let every blindness in your life disappear. Every sickness, let them disappear. A sickness in the bones, I say, I decree right now. Receive divine healing. Receive divine healing. Let the surgical angels of the living God, let them begin to remove whatever needs to be removed. Let them begin to replace whatever needs to be placed. Every organ that is malfunctioning, every organ that witches and wizards are eating up, let there be a replacement now. Let there be a replacement now. Every kidney that the witches have eaten, let the kidney be replaced. Every womb that has been eaten up, let the womb be replaced. In the name of Jesus, every liver that has been eaten up by the witches and wizards, let the liver be replaced now. Let the livers be replaced now. In the name of Jesus, King of Kings, you have done it before. 
in the life of this your children you will do it again my father come and do it again jehovah come and do it again king of glory come and do it again let everyone hearing me today let them have a testimony let them have a testimony let them have a testimony daddy let them have a testimony daddy give them a testimony in the name of jesus christ dr jesus i need you we need you today come in your power locate everyone connected to me and touch their lives in the mighty name of jesus let the miracle hand of god begin to walk in your affairs begin to walk in your matter begin to walk in your home in the mighty name of jesus and i speak that every evil load that is still in your life in any area of your life i command those loads to be dismantled to be dismantled let the owner of evil load appear and carry the load owners of evil load appear carry your load in the life of this children of god owners of the load of darkness come and carry your load out appear and carry your load appear and carry your load appear and carry your load in the life of that brother in the life of that sister appear and carry your load in the life of that child as well yes that uh, appear now and carry your load in their lives appear and carry your load in the name of jesus christ my lord i thank you because that is not like you I bless your name for your children that are connected to me. And I say thank you, King of Glory, for what you have started to do. I bless you, Lord, for your love and kindness. I say glory be unto you. Father, we thank you, Lord Almighty, for your love. We thank you for you are a great God and you are a God that does not fail. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. Glory be unto you, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to bless the Lord Almighty for your life, for those of you that are connected to me on Periscope, on the prayer line, also on Facebook Live, and also on Instagram. I believe that the hand of the Lord will begin to work wonders in your life in Jesus' name. So listen, I'm going to continue to pray for you, and I want to tell you that our God answers prayers. If you have any special prayer requests, just send them to me via Facebook, and I will continue to put you on our prayer on our prayer chain and we'll be praying along with you and i pray that the lord will always answer and he will answer your case he will answer also all that you are, your request in the name of jesus the lord has never failed and in your matter he will not fail so i have confidence in the lord i have confidence in the lord that he is a god of signs and wonders so as many of you that are connected to me wherever you might be the Lord will touch you in Jesus' name. He will manifest His power in your life in the name of Jesus. So God bless us all. The prayer line is every Monday and every Thursday. Every Monday and every Thursday, 11 p.m. UK time. 11 p.m. UK time. 11 p.m. UK time. Every Monday and every Thursday. And I pray that the Lord will touch you in Jesus' name. If I'm yet to send you your prayer, all the prayers that you, I said I was going to send you, please send me uh, a message on Facebook and I'll reply you. Uh, on Thursday, we're going to continue from where we stop. We're going to pray a lot of prayer because a lot of people are carrying evil loads. And I pray that you will be part of it. In, you'll be part of the testimonies on Thursday in the name of Jesus. So let's go ahead. For those of you that are still around with me, let's go ahead and share the video. For those of you that are on the prayer line, I'm going to cut you off right now. God bless you and the Lord will be with you in the name of Jesus. So let's meet again on Thursday. The prayer line is every Monday, every Thursday, 11 p.m. UK time. And on Thursday, there's a second prayer line that holds 11.30 a.m. That's the women's prayer line. Meet us there also, and the Lord will touch you all in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Those of you on the prayer line, have a lovely time. Those of you on our Periscope and also on our Facebook Live, let's go ahead and share the video. Let's go ahead and share the video. The, the women's prayer line is 11.30 a.m. UK time. 11.30 a.m. UK time. God bless you. Let's go ahead and share the video. Before you go, share the video. Let's, let me see some hearts on those of you that are on Periscope there. Let me see some likes from those of you that are on Facebook Live. God bless you. God bless you. Wonderful. I can see lots of you sharing the video. Go ahead. Go ahead and share the video. I know the Lord will touch every area of your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. Yes, the Lord will be with us all in Jesus' name. So those of you on prayer line, have a lovely time and stay blessed.
Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Let's 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 share this video. Uh, let's make sure. Yes, God bless you. Excellent, wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Yes, Olaneke, how are you? Aqua Ophoria, wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Aderon Kemeri, how are you? Henry Fernando, God bless you. Rosemary Duker, God bless you. Edo Eva Olag, how are you? I think I must have missed your call sometimes. Olaneke, how are you doing? Abdul, brother Abdul Kamara, how are you? Frater French, God bless you all. God bless you. It's nice to speak to you all and it's nice to see you also on the prayer line. God bless you all. God bless you. Yeah, Ogumadi Olaemi, how are you doing? We thank God for your life. Ah, Olua Gwemisola, how are you? Yes. Okay, I will send those prayer points to you, please. I will send them to you in a matter of time. Those of you that have requested for the prayer points for last week and I've not sent it, I will send them to you. I think I've, I must have missed you. I'm sorry, I must have missed you. Brother Abdul, God bless you. God bless you all. Yes, I had a great Father's Day. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you that have sent a lot of messages, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, Osa Sato, God bless you. Christiana Folk, how are you doing? Thank you very much for all your messages. I was really, really blessed. Head ever Ola, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. The Lord will touch your lives. Wale Richard or Desami, God bless you. Okay, you send me something also. Okay, I'm going to reply you if I have not. I will reply you. Please, I have, if I have not, I'm coming to you. I'm going to get to you. <laughs> the Lord will strengthen every one of you in Jesus' name. And as we pray for you, I pray that the Lord will continue to answer our prayers. And I will hear your testimony. I know that many of you have testimonies. I've been hearing many of your testimonies. And I've been really thrilled by what God is doing. Hagnes, Ban, Camara, God bless you. Issa Tassisi, God bless you too. All the testimonies I've heard, it has been wonderful. It means that our God is a God that answers prayer. And so listen, if your testimony is yet to come, your are next you are next to testify i have had a lot of testimonies and i can tell you that i am so thrilled by a lot of you that are testifying many people have called me some have written me saying look pastor this is what they are experiencing and for those of you that are sharing the video let me tell you you are doing a great work by sharing the video if you are yet to share it please do share it let somebody be blessed rosemary dupe okunaya god bless you the lord will touch your life the Lord will be with you all and your families. I soak you all in the blood of Jesus. The challenges you are facing right now shall be a testimony. Whatever you are facing right now that looks like, well, it's not right, the Lord God Almighty will turn it around for your good in Jesus' name. And I pray for every one of you. I pray for you, Sister Agnes, in and out of hospital. I decree and I declare that the spirit of hospital, the spirit of affliction upon your life, it's broken forever. It's destroyed forever. In the name of Jesus. I speak into your destiny. That anything that the enemy has projected into your body. To make you come in and out of hospital. We disconnect it. And we drag you into the kingdom of light. We drag you into the kingdom of light. Receive divine healing. Receive the miraculous healing. Receive divine healing. Receive the miraculous healing. Everything that is confusing your doctors. That the doctors do not know. I speak in the name of Jesus. Uh, that the power of God uh, will begin to work in your life. Uh, and you shall receive divine healing. You shall receive divine healing in the blood, uh, in the veins, uh, in the marrows, uh, in the body. You shall receive healing, spiritual healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and I pray that the Lord will touch every area of your life uh, in the name of Jesus. I decree that you shall not die but you shall live. Uh, to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. Have a lovely time. And I said the prayer that I've said for you, the Lord will strengthen you for it in Jesus' name. 
Yes, have a lovely time. Christian of all, Chris Mary Dupe, God bless you. Brother Abdul, Olanike, have a lovely and a wonderful time. And so I'm going to allow you to go now. For those of you that are yet to share the video, let's go ahead and share it, please, before you go. Just share the video quickly. Let somebody be blessed by your own hands as you're sharing it. Let somebody be blessed. Let somebody be blessed. And very good. Tracy Tony, God bless you. Osara Victor in here, God bless you too. God bless you. Let's go ahead. Let's share the video. I want to say I appreciate God for your life, for what God is doing. Many of you are going to be experiencing what I call a divine touch right from this moment. A divine touch in every area of your life. You begin to receive a divine touch and I know that God who is a God of wonders. He will begin that wonders in your life in Jesus' name. Yes, have a lovely and a wonderful time. Yes, we know that the Lord is there with you. Don Senior, good night. Yes, the Lord will be with you also. Also, Osas Sato, God bless you. And so we will see more of you. Those of you on Instagram, have a lovely time. <laughs> and stay blessed. And those of you on Periscope, God bless you too. The hand of the Lord will continue to work miracles. We we'll begin to work wonders and we we'll begin to bring a divine grace and a divine touch into your life. All right, have a lovely time and see you again. God bless. Fitzgerald, God bless you. It's nice to see you. And Eva, God bless you also. Some of my, I'm going to stop the Instagram now. So have a lovely time, guys, on Instagram. Stay connected. It's going to be Mondays and Thursdays, Mondays and Thursdays, 11 o'clock. At Deron Kemery, see you too. Have a lovely time. I'm in Nata S, but God bless you. Rosemary Duper, God bless you. Mimi Praise, God bless you. Those of you on Periscope, have a lovely time. And stay blessed. Hagnes, God bless you. You are healed in the name of Jesus. I decree again, Hagnes, you are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you.